Okay, okay, alright. Relax. Chill out. Before my channel in this video gets absolutely disliked and ratioed to oblivion, let me state my case. When I say Velma isn't that bad. <laughs> it just obviously shouldn't be a Velma show. Hear me out. So basically at the time of this recording, there's only two episodes out of the new Velma show, which I should commend because again with Hollywood, this is one of those shows that was highly talked about and heavily ratioed at every turn of its promotional run. So to run with the formula of an episode a week compared to dropping the entirety of the series at one time is pretty genius in order for the general audience to continue to talk about this dog water or not so dog water show. Sheer fucking hubris. As I've said before, in order to get my point across, the Velma show, I don't even know if that's the actual name, but we're just going with it, shouldn't be a Velma show. Hollywood has this fascination of just choosing any and every single IP in order to push their Hollywood bubble agenda, compared to just making original content in order to push that same narrative. And with most of the popular fan favorites already decomposing in their Hollywood graves, Scooby-Doo was just simply no exception, which just makes it extremely frustrating because that just simply didn't need to be the case in this situation. To give you a brief rundown from IMDb, the show follows the origins of Velma and the Mystery Gang, obviously told her way from her perspective because it truly mattered to hardcore Scooby-Doo fans and my inner child that Fred wasn't the one that started the gang in the first place. Starring Velma as a race swap Mindy Kinling. Keeling? Uh, the girl from The Office. Daphne as a race swapped hot girl that's also adopted. Fred as a tiny peen homie compared to the lady killer of a character that we once knew. And with Shaggy and Scooby-Doo not even existing. Crazy times we live in again but replacing him with a simp beta male and of course race swapped norvell what a name i imagine you're starting to see my point but allow me to dig a little deeper the true plot of the show follows the origins of the gang while they're in high school or whatever hollywood assumes high school is actually like as velma uses her quick wits and snarky comments in order to solve a crime where she is the main suspect of a string of murders of local high school girls that have their brains removed. Wow, 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 wow. Man, not gonna lie, the more I'm typing this script, the more and more I'm starting to realize what everyone is saying. But no, 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 I'm going to stick with my point, stay with me. As well as Velma trying to solve the mystery of her missing mom, did she just pull the ye olde classic of going out to get some milk and never returning because her kids sucked ass? Or was it something else? Maybe Ghost, who knows? I imagine that Daphne, Fred, and not Shaggy are bound to have some type of character development over the season in order to eventually have some type of semblance into the characters that we actually know. But as of right now, the descriptions I gave earlier are about it. What I'm trying to get at is that the show in its core isn't a bad concept. The plot, while cliche, isn't a bad one. It's just a classic murder mystery. We've seen it before, and even Ryan Johnson right now is making a killing simply off this sole concept alone. While the jokes are extremely meta, and as I've said many times before, and this certainly won't be the last, the dialogue is certainly and very much obviously written by Hollywood writers for Hollywood people. And that in lies the main problem and the main point of what I'm getting at when I say that that doesn't have to be the case, especially in a situation and in a show with such a generic plot such as Velma. Velma could have easily just been its own original show, and I don't think it would have received nearly the level of backlash that it has. But in turn, it wouldn't receive the publicity either. Which is such a backwards way of thinking and truly shows the colors of Hollywood as if they weren't already painted across my eyelids to witness every day. It's just uproar for the sake of uproar. The now classic Jessica Gao Strat. Pissing people off intentionally by taking a popular and amazing IP, entangling and forcing your own shit ideas, and then blaming the fans for not liking said shit ideas and product. God, please stop giving these type of people jobs in Hollywood. It's truly crippling society, even if you're one of those people that says, it's not that serious, or it's not for you, or if you don't like it, don't watch. Nonetheless, it creates a divide no matter how you put it. And I don't really understand the purposeful intent by making shows like Velma. But I digress. 
The point is, is that if this show wasn't called Velma, but instead Mindy, just by the name of the actress playing the character, I don't think it truly would be a bad show. And with the show being adult animation, it truly baffles me that we did not go that route. With shows like Archer, Bojack Horseman, F is for Family, and Rick and Morty, the adult animation genre has to be by far the easiest genre to dive into when it comes to original content that can find success relatively quick. So it's basically a slap in the face to the fans when it comes to just seemingly pulling out an IP that hasn't been destroyed out of a hat and just deciding to slap that on as window dressing for your not so bad show. Not a great plan. Well, yes, I did say earlier that the comedy in air quotes is extremely meta. There's an audience for that, believe it or not. And it just goes back to show how insecure Hollywood is and their own people that preach the Hollywood message. But that's so obviously the minority of fans so slapping a popular IP to just get the majority of the fans fired up, which was obviously the intention, is just shameful. And honestly, it's a shame that original shows are getting put on the back burner for the sake of divisiveness and publicity. Like if I pitched an adult animation show following a South Asian witty high schooler with a murder mystery plot with characters ranging from a hot girl to an insecure male to a beta male simp, no one would really bat an eye in 2023 if it was just called Mendy. And honestly, in my opinion, people would go in more with a more open mind instead of just racing to be the fastest person on how dog water this show is. It's just shameful to yet again see another IP fall to the wayside for a show written by Hollywood for Hollywood. And while I stand by the title of this video saying the show isn't that bad, it's really just coming from the eyes of trying to watch the show without tying in the IP of Scooby-Doo in any way that I can. Which I know isn't the intent of the writers or producers, but fuck them. That's just where my head is at now in order to find some sort of semblance of sanity in this Hollywood eats Hollywood world. Obviously, I'll just be continuing to watch the show and we'll see how it goes. But I do know that if this show was called Mindy and not Velma, the scene surrounding the show wouldn't be what it is now. But if you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Make sure to be in those comments because, well, man, I don't know. I just want to see where everybody's head is at with this show. I've, I've seen a lot of it, but I just want to have some dialogue. Do you agree or disagree with me on the originality aspect instead of just choosing an IP from the Hollywood mystery box? No pun intended on that. But otherwise, that's all the words I got for you today. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye.